Hi guys, it's Shalva with Life is No Yoke. Today we are talking about the new 48 ounce containers for the Vitamix Ascent series. We've got both the wet and the dry. So if you watch the video, by the end, we're gonna have a recommendation on which one we think that you should get. Okay, so what do you need to know about both the 48 ounce containers? What do they have in common? They both have a narrower body than the 64 ounce that your machine came with. Narrow body means smaller minimum batch size than the wider base. They also both come with a tamper. They each come with a small getting started recipe guide that goes with each model. Um, and the last thing is that they both have this self detect technology on the bottom which makes it a model that you can use on the Ascent series. You wouldn't be able to use something without self-detect technology on the Ascent series. So there's one more thing that the 48 ounce containers have in common, which is unlike the 20 ounce and the eight ounce for the Ascent series, which we love, the 48 ounce ones are vented and they also have a lid plug. So you can use your tamper to really control the texture, which means you can make frozen desserts, and nut butters. Okay, so let's talk about these individually. So the wet container, if I can reach it over here, the wet container is exactly like your 64 ounce wider body container. It does all the same things. It makes smoothies, juices, nut butters, hot soups, frozen desserts, dressings, what haven't I said, dips and sauces. It makes all the things that the 64 ounce container does. It just makes them in a smaller batch size for you. Let's talk about the dry 48 ounce Ascent container. It has a similarly smaller um, blade. It's three inches as compared to four inches. So three, three, and four. Is that too much information? Okay. But the blade is shaped differently. So the blade is shaped in order to send ingredients up into the container as opposed to pulling them down. It is specifically designed to grind dry grains by sending them up. Otherwise, the two models are identical. So another nice thing about the dry grains container is that it's a dedicated container for one purpose. So yes, it's built to grind dry grains, but also it keeps your main primary container clean and unscratched. Dry grains do kind of uh, bump the sides a little bit and can start to wear down your main container. So if you have a dedicated container to do dry grains for you, then you keep your old container or your main container looking like new. Or newish. Or newish, depending on how often you use it. Less scratchy. <laughs> Less scratched. All right, so before we make a recommendation for those of you that want to buy just one of these, we have a frequently asked question we'd like to answer, and that is, how tall are they? So I want to prove to you that they are exactly the same height by using a level here. So it will sit exactly where your 64 ounce container is sitting, whether you get the wet or the dry Ascent series container. Okay, so what's our recommendation? Well, we're gonna say the same thing that we said with the older models with the 32 ounce container, which is to get the wet container. We absolutely love having a smaller secondary container. We use it all the time. We sometimes want to make a smaller batch, and so it's really helpful to have that secondary wet container around. Some frozen desserts, I don't have to make 17 bananas worth of frozen dessert, or a nut butter, I can make a reasonable amount because I'll probably eat all of it no matter how big of a batch I make, so it's a reasonable amount. Now that doesn't mean the dry container isn't amazing, it is, especially if you're already into grinding up your own grains, if you have food allergies at home and you like to make your own flours, it's a really helpful tool. But if you want something that you're gonna use often, we recommend going with the wet container. Guys, if you appreciate videos like this, go to our site, use our links to buy. We very much appreciate every time you click one of our links to get to Vitamix's website. Um, if you're in the market for a secondary container, 48 ounce wet is our recommendation. Go get yourself one. Like and subscribe to our channel. We love you for watching. Thanks so much. Bye, guys. Because it's, wow. <laughs> Wait, because you can't tell from the front. From the front? you're wearing black. How about from the side? That's pretty good. <laughs> this side's better for some reason. Well, it's black, yeah. <laughs>